Hi everyone, my name is Ili, a year 2 student currently pursuing a diploma in pharmaceutical science in the School of Life Sciences and Chemical Technology. And you are watching of course NP, where I'll be showing you what a day in the life of an NP student in my course looks like. Let's go! Okay, time check. It's currently 7.30am right now and I'm actually eating my breakfast before heading to school. So for today, from 9 to 12, I'll be having my pharmaceutics lab session. Then after 2 to 4, I'll be having my pharmacology, HBL lecture, and after 4, I'll be actually doing my project work with my friends. Alright, I'm actually going to head out right now, so let's go! Wow! Alright, I've reached my destination, which is our very own compounding lab. Let's enter! Just to show you guys a little more insight about life, as a pharmaceutical science student, we actually have many lab sessions whereby we get to learn how to analyze the active ingredients in a medicine or simply just learning how to make different dosage forms of medicines or testing the quality of a tablet. This is actually a disintegration test which gives us a rough idea of how the tablet will actually disintegrate in our body which means broken down into smaller particles. So currently, I'm having my pharmaceutics lab session. For today, we are actually doing this solution testing of a paracetamol tablet, whereby we evaluate the quality of a tablet and how well do they dissolve in our body, which should then be absorbed later into our blood to exert its medicinal effect. Also, we do have to wear goggles and lab coat as well to ensure that we are safe. Besides that, we also need to wear long pants with covered shoes to ensure that we are protected from all sorts of chemicals we have to handle in the lab. Here are all the machines we have in our labs, which aids us in our practical sessions a lot, be it to test for the quality of certain dosage forms or formulating it. Here we have our tablet friability tester, water buffs, disintegration tester, fluid bed dryer, rapid mixer granulator, and more. Hi, I'm back! So right now I'm actually done with my practical. I'm going to go to Maka Place to actually take away Mala for my friends and I. See you! Alright, so now I'm home and I'll be eating my lunch before my formal co lecture. So, okay, so here's my mala! Okay, time check. Right now it's actually currently 1.38pm and we are done eating. So we're going to do some pre-revision before our pharmacology lecture starts. Also, fun fact, pharmacology is also one of my favourite modules because we actually get to learn about the different types of medicines and why is it useful. For example, we learn what kind of medicines we have to take when we get cold, constipation, or diarrhea, etc. Okay, back to work. girl has fever and muscle aches, which can be used? The answer is parent. So, the first one, let's look at estrogen. Um, many compounds have estrogen. It's currently my 10 minutes break right now, and actually during this time, I'll get to recap what I've learned during the lecture, as well as get some snacks. So, I have my mala flavoured chips here. Okay, so for the first part of the lecture, we actually learned a lot about endocrine system, as well as what kind of drugs to actually regulate the female hormone system, like estrogen levels, etc. We also get to learn about oral contraceptives as well as what are the side effects of it. For today's lesson, we actually learn a lot about medicines as well as their mechanism of actions. And here I have Miss Sumita, who will be showing more about why we learn pharmacology and how it benefits us. Hi Miss Sumita, so why do you think students should actually join pharmaceutical science? Why they should join is um, if students find that um, um, the human anatomy interests them, the science behind it, like um, bio, or even if you don't have bio, if you're interested, that's fine. And if you also enjoy chemistry, because drugs are all about organic compounds, so you learn lots about human body and about um, chemistry and the analysis and drug discovery process. And if you're interested in healthcare to pursue a career or a future in healthcare, this may be something you may want to consider. Uh, to pursue. Okay, thank you Miss Sumita. Welcome. Alright, I want to start project work with my friends right now and I hope we are more curious about pharmaceutical science and maybe even continue to join my course. Okay, that's all for now. Bye!